world peace and life fifth element live the elements of hip-hop are dj graffiti breaking knowledge and your mama Biddy, did you come here to play or did you come here to finesse we can't all get a pair of socks i yes, told you patrick i was coming for you i took you out you're still whack copy What's going on, y'all? Um, so we're going to continue. Ooh, fix my hat. We're going to continue going through what we went over two weeks ago. Last week, I was not able to make it to class due to uh, work reasons. But today, we'll, we'll get in some uh, We'll, we'll get in some techniques over basic power moves. And uh, as usual, we'll start off with a stretch. Uh, we'll start adding in some more stretches that will help with developing power moves, uh, your form and your technique. And then uh, uh, we're just going to kind of go over a step-by-step -step of little techniques that will help, help out your your basic fundamentals for for starting off your power moves. So gonna go over calories, gonna go over backspin form, and some good freezes to learn as a prerequisite that will not necessarily prerequisite, but it'll help you uh, build build up your proper technique and point for everything that you do. Okay, so first things first, we'll stretch. So we'll get into some splits right now. Always important to stretch. I was at practice the other night and someone, or actually several people didn't stretch or warm up properly. And three of them ended up pulling their lower back muscles and uh, agitating their sciatica and a couple other people just like had to mess up wrists. So always warm up and, and stretch. Super important to limber up so that your body doesn't uh, hurt itself when you're uh, when you're trying some of these more technical moves. All right, so just doing a light stretch for now. Um, so from your splits, we're going to do opposite hand, opposite foot. So my left hand going to my right foot. Stay here for a little bit longer. Just always good to stretch a little bit more, especially if you're doing the more intense moves. So from here. All right, switch sides. So right hand to your left foot. So from here, we're going to do butterfly stretch, bring your feet in, lower your upper body as close to your feet as possible.
here. We're going to do some straight leg stretches, some pike stretches. So, leg straight, back straight, reach for your toes. Here we're gonna we're gonna take our right foot over our left and do some hip stretches. Just kind of have your legs apart and try to lower your upper body down. And of course, always uh, do do whatever is comfortable. Don't don't stretch to the point where it's actually hurting, because then you're actually you're legitimately hurting yourself. So, all right. So I'm gonna take my glasses off. Oh. Uh, so now we're gonna do some shoulder stands and back stretches for uh, back spins. This is always this should become a very standard stretch for you as you. Develop your power moves like backspins and windmills and things of that nature. Uh, so, on your back and just bring your legs over in front of your face, and you want to be leaning on your upper back. Your mid and lower back should be off the floor. So, from here, you can just basically try to imagine you're trying to roll back, but then you just stop halfway and try to keep your legs straight. So from here, and do the best you can. If you need your hands to support you, you can definitely put your hands behind you if you need to. But if you can, try to hand, have your hands above your head and your legs in front of your face and juice. Just use the weight of your legs to help you balance and stay on your upper back. And we're going to be here for a little bit.
So, that's the position that you always want to uh, strive for when you're doing backspins. Uh, we're going to go over some really basic methods for going into backspins, like a very standard one, uh, a very beginner level one where you're just sitting in a split like this and you wind your legs onto your back. But we're also going to go over uh, how to do it from like a turtle or high up from a cali. So basically from the, the, the most like basic standard uh, beginner way to do it is to just do it from sitting down. And you basically want to start from here. Okay, and basically what you're going to try to do is uh, I'm going to teach it doing it going clockwise. So again, based on the camera angles, because it's like a mirror reflection, just remember that uh, listen more so to the words that I say. Um, try not to just focus on what I'm doing on the camera, like, you know, uh, for example, if you're doing most of your freezes and your baby freezes, chair freezes, things like that on your right arm, uh, you're going to want to do your power clockwise. If you do everything, if you do all your freezes and your main dominant arm is your left, you're going to probably want to go counterclockwise. Okay, so again, listen to uh, my words, like whether I say left or right leg, and just try to follow along as best as you can, just because I know this, the camera kind of does like a mirror reflection. So I say right hand, but it, it might not look like my right hand or whatever. So. Uh, yeah, just try, just try to pay attention to that. But basically, backspin from here, if you're sitting in a split, I'm going to start off leaning on my right arm. So just plain old sitting down, right arm down. You're going to take your left leg, OK? And what you want to do is you don't necessarily want to swing up or diagonal, you want to literally have your legs swing as low to the ground as possible. So your left leg is going to swing low across. Some people just go straight up. That makes you roll. You don't want to roll. You want to rotate in position. So you want to make sure your leg swings in the direction that you want to spin. You want it to be as low as possible. Of course, avoid hitting your own foot. So make sure when you swing, you swing and you do it just above. You know what I'm saying? You do it just above that other foot to avoid knocking it out the way. Okay. So leaning on your right arm, as you swing your left leg forward, you're going to just essentially just let your hand slide down and you want to roll and lay on the ground. Okay, so from here you go swing. Okay, so and you should kind of feel that momentum like you should almost feel like you want to spin on the side of your body when you do that. So from here, swing. Kick your left leg forward and swing to the side. And by this point, you should be completely flat on the floor on the side of your body. Okay. Your other hand is out behind you. Okay. But as your left leg swings forward, you want your hand 
to swing with the leg. Okay. So if you can see that your hand should swing with the leg, everything should work together. Okay, so from standing up, your left hand is behind you, but as you swing and kick forward, your arm will swing forward with your leg. Okay, so it's swinging at the same pace as your leg. So if your leg swings fast, your left arm should swing fast. Okay. And basically what you want to do is swing really hard and try to build up momentum to start to make your body spin. So if you can, uh, just kick and swing as hard as you can and just stay in that position and your body should kind of rotate a little bit on its own if you swing it hard enough. So from here, okay. It's going to just move and rotate on its own. Okay. That's what you want to go for. You don't want to just, you don't want to just lay and turn to the side. You want to kick and build up as much momentum as possible. And so what we're going to do is as, as soon as we swing and kick our arm and leg, what we're going to do is follow through with our right foot, keeping our legs apart. So your left leg and your left arm swing. And as it continues to swing right afterwards, your right arm and right leg swing, and they should come to a V. Okay. And ultimately you want to end up in the same position as the, the stretch that we did which is going to be super crucial. So let me show you that real quick. Hold on. Camera back as far as possible. All right. So from here, left leg, left arm swings. Okay. And you should be on the ground. And as soon as it does that, it'll kind of start to maneuver its way up. Right arm and right leg follow through. And you want to end up in this position. Cool. It's kind of hard to do it slowly to show you guys step by step, but that's essentially what you want to do. Left arm, left leg swings, right arm, right leg swings after. So it's just boom, followed by the other one. And you should be on your upper back, hands over your head, legs, um, in a split over your head, your lower back should be off the ground, leaning on your upper back. Okay, so it's a lot of words, but again, this is all going for uh, clockwise direction for power moves. Okay. So from here, you wanna slowly go down, swing and kick your left, arm, left leg. As soon as it goes as far as it can, it's going to start to migrate upwards. And then your right arm, right leg, go up. Okay. So from here, going to do it uh, relatively quickly now. So from here, Just like so. Okay. So, um, oh boy. I don't have any power here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, one leg after, in the, after the other, uh, you want to make sure that. You're kicking them as hard as you can, as low to the ground as you can initially. Same thing with your right side. Left, lower, left arm, left leg stays as low to the ground as possible, followed by your right side. And then uh, move your way to the upper back. And then you should technically 
start to rotate and spin on your upper back and preferably in place. You don't want to be wobbling around or anything like that. Okay. So one more time. So from here, left side swings. You can use your right arm as an anchor to kind of help you pull your body, but it should swing with your right leg immediately after uh, when it's ready to. So left leg, left arm swings. Okay. Start to move up, pull, right arm, right leg swings, and then you should end up in this position with your legs split, okay? So, doing it quickly again. So from here, like so, okay. That's probably like the most basic beginner way to do things. Uh, and then from there, bend your knees, bring your bring your legs together, bring your arms together, and you should be able to do a backspin coming out of that. So from here, it basically like that. Um, and the the better you have that form and technique, the the better your uh, your foundation will be. A lot of other moves would become much easier the more comfortable you get with this whole motion. Just being on your upper back and being able to bounce off your upper back just from you know just from like the sitting position is like pretty crucial. Okay, so the Let's see. All right. So, uh, the next, so keep practicing that, that that's going to be super crucial. And then the next thing you want to do is, uh, once you're comfortable with that is getting to a backspin from a turtle or a baby freeze. Okay. And for that, that's a little bit different. Um, there's a certain way you can swing your legs, twist your arms, and lean forward, things like that, which is a very different uh, setup from sitting on the ground. So what you want to do is just get into a regular turtle position, not necessarily a baby freeze with your knee over your elbow. You just want to be your body dead center uh, in a turtle position. So from here, okay, from here, boom. You can start with your head on the ground. Right leg, you want to twist it and swing up in the air as much as possible. Okay, that's your wind up to help you swing and develop momentum for, uh, for any power move really, uh, coming from a turtle. So make sure you get used to taking your right leg and swinging back. So from here, right leg comes up. All right, that's my right leg, comes up behind me. And then from here, once it goes as far as back as it can, you wanna swing, but make sure the other foot or the other leg doesn't get in the way. You want to be able to make sure that they stay split apart. Okay. So practice uh, doing that. And again, uh, I, I just put my foot on the ground just to stop myself. But you want to make sure that your swinging leg does not scrape or hit the floor. You want it to be a really clean swing. Make sure nothing is reducing or resisting that momentum you want as you want to build up as much much energy as possible so that's the first step of that you want to you want to get your leg positioning right you want to swing that right leg back and when you swing swing that right leg and everything stays apart and nice and split okay it's crucial to do that whether you're doing backspins or windmills doesn't matter what it is. Your your legs need to stay apart in the 
first first part of a, a setup for doing power because that's what develops all the momentum and will allow you to continue doing whatever it is that you want to do afterwards. So right leg swings back, swing forward. And then after that, for your arms, you want to make sure they're not too far apart. You want to make sure that they're doing a twisting motion. So from the ground, your arm isn't just pushing off and rolling. You actually want to twist. Like you want to move your body and twist and rotate in place uh, using your hands and the weight on them as leverage. So from here, all right, right leg up, swing. Okay, and as it swings, what you can do to help practice that twist is move up to your forearm. And then from your forearm, you want to just twist onto your shoulder. Okay. And move into your upper back position. All right. All right, so I'll try to show that as best as I can step by step. And then uh, slowly put it together. Some ideas, they shake you out of your sleep like when a toddler creeps. Totality of the deep, the mere thought of an unconscious manifestation carried out with the beat. Positive charged protons create neural explosions. Time hiccups when fingers and pads touch. Dead air smiles because it knows what's coming. The countenance of the clock claps hands. The choreography of the knot slaps jams and you be like, who made this? Vertebrae responding to the call so bad to make a B-girl curve the wall. All right. Uh, my fault. The camera died. So we're going to have to deal with my phone at the moment. Uh, oh, geez. All right. So anyways. Uh, yeah, it, it might be a little blurry. Something's on my screen probably. But anyways, uh, you just need to see the body motion really. So uh, what you want to do is, again, swing your leg through. Your right arm is going to move up your forearm, and then from your forearm, just slowly bring it in, and you want to rest on your shoulder, and really all the momentum will do the work for you. So from there, you should kind of start to twist in place. From your shoulder, you move to your back, and then from your back, just once you get to your, you know, that – backspin form you you'll just start spinning in place and from there that's going to be the groundwork for literally every single power move that you do on the ground so backspins uh baby mills tombstones uh all the transitions even windmill to headspin double mills windmill to 90s even it's going to be the the essential groundwork for everything that you do okay so one more time so from here right leg up swing all right you want to make sure you're swinging as hard as you can all your weight should be on your arms your head leaning forward as much as possible you need to keep your head on the ground keeping your head on the ground is going to be pretty crucial uh to developing your power power uh, form. So again, from there now, we're gonna move to forearm and shoulder and then hopefully onto the back. <laughs> so from here, okay, swing up to your forearm, down to your shoulder, and then to your upper back. Okay, so one more time from here. Swing 
up to your forearm, shoulder, upper back. Okay. And if that proves uh, fairly difficult for now, what you want to do is just practice them separately. Practice going from baby freeze or turtle to forearm. And then from forearm, which is, it'll be much easier from forearm to go to shoulder. And then from shoulder, try to move on to that stretch position that we, we were uh, doing earlier in the beginning for back spins. Okay. All those motions together should lead to um, a nice clean backspin in place of uh, in place where you started everything. If you notice yourself traveling from one side of the room all the way to the other, practicing this, it means you're not twisting in place. You really, really want to focus on twisting. Move, it's not just forearm and then you just roll to your back. You really want to like do forearm and shoulder, but you want to, the whole time you're twisting your arms. Okay, so my right arm is the stabbing arm. My left arm is my support. Once I roll to my forearm, it's not just moving to the side or rolling over to the side. You really want to go up. But even as you're going to your forearm, you're twisting your body. So you go to your forearm, and then you go to your shoulder. You keep twisting. And then onto your back, you keep twisting in place. So a, a brief demonstration between the two. So uh, I'll show the, – the first one I'll show is what you want to avoid. First one is going to be rolling, and you'll see me travel across the screen because I'm not twisting in place. I'm just going up and then just letting gravity do its thing and pull me down on its own. That's what you don't want to do. So watch this and avoid it. So some people do this. And they'll travel across a lot. So one more time from this angle. So from here. Going from one side to the other is, is what you want to absolutely avoid. If you do everything twisting your arms in motion and uh, getting to the center of your back, you should spin in place. The twist is going to be super crucial. That, that's going to be actually very hard to explain. It's just the whole motion of turtle, forearm, shoulder, back. But it's not just following that systemic procedure. What you want to do is you're, you're twisting your body the whole time. Using your hands on the floor, you're twisting as you go throughout each step of the way. Okay, so real quick, I'll show what that looks like. So this is what you wanted to get to. So from here... You'll notice I didn't really travel from one side to the other. Uh, I stayed relatively in place. And when I started spinning, I didn't really wobble or, you know, travel off to the side. Uh, I, I pretty much stayed in place for the most part doing that. Okay. And I was just doing it very slowly even. What you want to do is just twist in place and control the amount of wobble and travel. Um, so yeah, one more time. I'll show it again very as slowly as I can, and then I'll do it quickly. And then we're just going to do some backspins real quick, OK? So from here, all right, right leg up, swings. But when you swing, as you swing, you want to go to your forearm, drop to your shoulder, and then onto your back. But the whole time, you should be twisting with your arms, OK? They should stay in place. But as your body is up in the air, you twist, and it makes your body twist 
in place. Okay, you should be rotating exactly where you are, not rolling. Very different things. Okay, so one more time. So from here, all right. All right, again. All right, one more time, okay. <clears throat> Trying to make sure I get the right angle for this, okay. All right, so that's uh, that's what you want to achieve. You want to, of course, I don't have it perfect either. I could do it higher on my back, but I don't know. That's just that's just the way I do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know that I don't necessarily have it perfect either. Uh, whenever I practice, I always try to get it higher and higher. Um, it doesn't seem like much, but it does require a lot of maintenance. Um, especially as you get older, you want to make sure you're not losing that form, that form factor. Uh, it's always, backspins are always a, you know, once you've warmed up a bit, it's always a good move to use to continue warming up with in the very beginning of practice. Kind of sets the sets the tone right for the rest of practice. You know if your backspin form is a little off or your windmill form is a little off, you should know that that's what you need to practice throughout, throughout the rest of the session that you're doing. Um, if it feels good and on point, then you can move on and work on more advanced things like windmill headspins, wind, uh, double mills, you know, windmill 90s and things like that. So it's always a good move to use. Need a warm up for it first, but you can continue warming up using this move once your once your body is up and awake a bit. And uh, yeah, just a just a good way to start off practice is like practicing this basic power form, like Cali to backspin or like turtle to backspin. And you want to. Just make sure your your form is on point. You want to make sure after where you do it, you want to check to see if you move it around a lot, if you wobble a lot. And if you have been, keep doing it until it gets right. And if it doesn't get right, then just keep doing it. The, try not to move on to other things because uh yeah, this is just such a such a crucial fundamental move and form to get or just this form in general so crucial to maintain, uh, I would say try not to make a habit of doing backspins or windmills any differently. If your head's coming off the ground and banging against the ground every time you do a rotation, then that means you're, you're way off the mark. Um, I don't care if you can do windmill air flare or windmill 90, like th it's, this is something you should still regardless. Uh, should continue to work on and perfect. So I'll show you a few more times, and then I'll go over a few techniques for, for Cali as well, um, just to help you uh, maximize the amount of momentum you can build up. All right, so one more time. So from here, all right, the swing of your legs is always crucial. If you just start from, you know, dead weight like here, it's going to be very hard to move and rotate uh, to start a backspin or a windmill. You always need that right leg up and swing to help. All right. And then again, uh, just try to pay attention to how I twist my arms and then the way I go from like forearm to shoulder to back. Okay. So from here. A few more times. Okay, so from here. All right.
And you'll notice my arms are very low to the ground as well. You don't want it up in the air too soon or just in general, like have it in like odd levels when you're doing back swings. That's, that's going to make you lose balance and wobble as well. So, um, yeah, just keep, uh, just keep working on this. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I can't, I can just show you this over and over again, but it, but it's, it's absolutely crucial that you, you know, especially if you wanted to learn more advanced things, especially if you want to combo moves, this, this form is pretty crucial. Staying on your upper back, head on the ground, uh, and just knowing how to twist your body in place as opposed to just rolling as fast as you, as you can to the side. Rolling doesn't actually build up any momentum. You just roll, and then once you're done rolling, that's it. Twisting and swinging your legs in place actually builds momentum. Just think of like a, a top or like a dreidel when you when you spin, you know what I mean? That that essentially is what you want to aspire to is when you spin, you you build up so much momentum that you're just able to keep going uh, over and over again. I mean, that's essentially what head spins are. You know what I'm saying? You don't necessarily need good uh, balance for those either. Uh, oftentimes the momentum alone, if you're going fast enough, keeps you up in the air. Um, but of course, if you do develop really good balance for head spins, you'll be able to master the different variations and leg positions of a, of a head spin. So, um, yeah, balance is always crucial if you're trying to perfect it. Okay, so a few more times. Again, if you, if you do everything on your left side, just take everything I said and do it opposite. I can't do any of these things opposite direction. Uh, my power is definitely one-sided uh, going clockwise, and I'm right-handed. So um, I can only do everything this direction. <laughs> okay, so it's not like footwork. It, power moves require a lot of dedication and focus, and it's very difficult to do power both ways. Some people can do it, but ma majority of the people on this planet will not be able to do it both directions. Um, the only power move I can do both directions is probably flares. Uh, and that's only because I practiced flares the wrong way for the longest time. And it took me forever to relearn it going the proper way to match all my other power direction. So that's the only reason why I can do flare both ways. I spent like four or five years doing flares the wrong way. And then, and then I had to relearn it. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, one more time, I'll show you again a few times, and then uh, 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 just like a couple tricks to help you develop a better Cali. So a few more times of doing backspin in a turtle, and then I'll do backspins coming from a Cali, and then tips on Cali uh, setup. So one more time. So from here, head on the ground, or you can start with your head off, but eventually what you're, what's gonna happen is your head is gonna go on the ground. So from here, Okay. Uh, just as, as an example, that also will become crucial to your shoulder spins because obviously, depending on which shoulder you want to spin on, you'll just stop early on to stay on your shoulder as opposed to going on your back or you go onto your back and you rotate all the way over to your other side and then you stay on that shoulder. So uh, some similarities there, but still very different in terms of balancing and your interval. But setup is still the same. You still whip your leg, twist in position, uh, so on and so forth. It just depends if you want to stay on the center of your back for backsmans or, you know, stay on one shoulder versus the other for shoulder spins. Um, so one more time. So backsmans. Okay, so from here. All right. Uh, 
This I like to call uh, just regular shoulder spins is staying on the shoulder that you start with. Um, and then inside shoulder spins are the ones where you move on to your other shoulder and you're basically looking inwards of the direction that you're spinning in. And, and you'll see what that what I'm talking about. So regular shoulder spins from here, same thing, but you just stay on your shoulder as opposed to going to your back. So from here, okay, one more time. So from here, all right, I fell out of that one, I'll be honest. <laughs> And then the other one, you just go from shoulder back to your other shoulder, roll all the way over to your other shoulder. And then, yeah, you're, that way you're basically looking in the direction that you're spinning in. So for that one, from here, okay. <laughs> Super easy to do, but you know, not always easy in the beginning. But once you get this down, you'll you'll almost never forget it, which is all the more important and why it's so crucial to get the form right in the beginning, so that it kind of lasts throughout your dance career. Um, strong foundation always leads to longevity, in my opinion. So definitely practice this form and you'll be able to continue developing and building on top of it. So, real quick time check. All right, so we'll do the same thing again, but this time we're gonna do it kind of from standing, from a Cali. Uh, Cali is, uh, for those of you who don't know, just a basic setup, setup from standing position as opposed to a freeze, a turtle freeze or from sitting down. Depending on where you are, some people might call the setup uh, a tabletop because it looks like a table wobbling around. Uh, from here, like around here in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, we all call them Callies because uh, back in the day, California, the West Coast, was really known and pioneering a lot of new power moves, coming up with all kinds of crazy head spin variations, windmill halo variations. Uh, in terms of power in general, they had like beautiful combos, like really high flares and things like that. So, and they all had this like same setup, uh, as opposed to a lot of East Coast cats. Like we would do it coming from footwork, but. Uh, a lot of West Coast cats would just kind of like start from standing up top from top rock and, and then work their way in. So and that's to my understanding. Uh, that's why a lot of East Coast heads call this move a Cali or the setup a Cali. It's not necessarily a move. It's a setup for a lot of things. Um, and so basically it's just from standing. Okay. And then you're just going from one arm to the other, and then that's it. So, those are Callies. But uh, one really simple trick I'll teach is, or actually two, uh, one I already showed you from the, the backspin part. Even for Callies, you wanna start with your swinging leg going as far behind you as possible at the beginning so that when you're ready to go into your power move, you can swing as hard as you can and, and build up as much momentum as possible. But the other thing is a lot of people kind of just put their hands down in place facing the normal forward direction. So 
they'll just go boom, boom. What I would recommend is, and what I do often, and I notice a lot of really good power heads doing this, is uh, their starting hand should not just go straight down. You should start with your hand twisted inwards as much as you comfortably can. Because then once you put your hand down like this, your body can naturally rotate around the wrist and that alone builds up a lot of momentum. And by the time you rotate to the part, uh, to the point where your hands are now facing upright and normal is when your other hand comes down. And then from there you can do 90s, launch into air flares or swing into flares or windmills, backspins, whatever. So little trick, always start with your hand inwards so that once you place it down, your whole body can swing and build up momentum just from the twist around. It may not seem like a lot here, but now just imagine the whole body swinging around just even half a circle. You see what I'm saying? So combine that with the swing of your leg, that's be, you know, stretching behind you, and you should be able to develop a whole lot of momentum. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to do some uh, back spins and shoulder spins uh, using that technique. And you'll hopefully you guys will be able to notice my hand going inwards like this. Okay, so just in case you can't want to lower the camera a bit. All right, or maybe not too much. All right, so from here, instead of just going down like this, you want to twist your arm inwards so that your fingers are pointed inwards. And that will allow you to rotate your body around that hand. So instead of just down, followed by down like this, which you can see it, it doesn't really pr provide much momentum. You just kind of wobble around. But if you do this, You notice that I rotated a little bit on my own before putting the other hand down. It just happens on its own naturally. And it's just a little trick to help you develop that much more momentum for your power moves. Okay. So we have like about five minutes left. So I'll just go over the three things real quick. Uh, back spins and the two different shoulder spins. And then, uh, yeah, just pay attention to my wrists my back leg, and again, even from a Cali, as I'm going down, you'll see my hands twisting in place as I move to my upper back or my shoulders. Um, and you'll notice that I'm not rolling. I just kind of go straight down in place and I spin and rotate uh, exactly where I started, okay? So. I'm getting a little tired. All right, so yeah, just super crucial. Uh, stay on your upper back, twist in place, and if you're starting from up top, uh, from a Cali setup, just start. The, your, just have your starting hand twisted inwards a little bit, just to give you that added bit of momentum. It really does make a big difference, uh, in my opinion. Uh, and yeah, that's it. So, as always, once you've uh, done some training, always and make sure you end your practice with stretches as well. Helps you recover from soreness the next day, but also helps you prevent injury from the next day if you're too stiff. You know what I mean? Especially if you're like lifting anything heavy or 
moving around a lot. Uh, stretching always helps. So real quick, one more time. We're just going to stretch our way out of this session, okay? So from here, we're just going to do splits. Opposite hand, opposite foot. My left hand to my right foot. Right hand to my left foot. Okay, butterfly stretch real quick. And one last time. Mm -hmm. Shoulder stands or the backspin stretch. And then also good to practice your balance for backspins by bending your knees. All right, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. And so, uh, yeah. Next week we'll we'll try to go over some other things and uh, and maybe go back to a little bit of footwork as well. All right, peace. We're peace and life. Fifth Element Live. The elements of hip hop are DJing, graffiti, breaking, knowledge, and your mama. Vinny, did you come here to play or did you come here to finesse? We can't all get a pair of socks. I yeah, told you, Patrick, I was coming for you. I took you out. You're still whack, copy.